Hi, I'm Jason Hicks with Westchester Lawn and Garden, and today we're going to discuss some of the new features in the steel product lineup, uh, from their chainsaws to their weed eaters, hedge trimmers. We'll go through the whole, the whole lineup and let you know what's new. Um, first thing we're going to talk about is chainsaws. Um, they've basically redesigned their chainsaw lineup. All of the products are going to eventually switch to this new design. The old design is still available. Once the tooling wears out basically to, to where that's not cost effective to build anymore, everything will switch to the new style. The old style is kind of a square bodied uh, chainsaw, um, somewhat of a loose fit around the housing so you get a little bit of sawdust and that kind of stuff up in the engine compartment. Um, the new style is more of a uh, rounded, uh, fits a lot tighter on the uh, chainsaw so you don't get the sawdust up in the engine compartment. They've redesigned their air filtration systems as well, which this is the old style, basically just a piece of felt um, that fits in there that keeps the, the sawdust out of the intake. The new style is going to be a little bit tighter of a fit, so it, it uh, definitely keeps a lot of the dust and sawdust up out of the intake system. Now uh, the other thing they did is they increase the anti-vibration characteristics of the new saws. The old saws are pretty much solid mounted to the engine housing. The new saws have quite a bit of flex um, to try to keep some of that vibration away from your hands. They added some cooling fins on the new saws to keep them running a little bit cooler. Overall, they seem to be a little bit better built saw than the, than the older style. Next, we're going to talk about the steel blowers, uh, the handheld blowers. They've made some improvements to for the residential customer. Uh, the BG56 is going to be the next introduction, basically going to replace the BG55 at some point. The 56 has a assist spring in it, so it's a little easier to pull. It also has an automatic choke. Um, so basically what you do, you set the choke, you prime it a few times, it'll actually start up and run on choke to where the old style two cycle um, used to have to choke it, pull it a few times, it would kick over and then you had to turn the choke off, pull it again. Um, the 56 will start up and run on choke and then as soon as it's running you just pull the trigger, it shuts the choke off and it's ready to start again. Um, the other thing they did, the rocker switch on it is an automatic on, so basically you hold it down to shut it off. As soon as you let go, it turns back to the on position, so it's ready to start right back up. It's supposed to be a lot easier to start, a lot easier to manage for people that struggle starting uh, two-cycle machines. Um, you're not supposed to be able to flood this machine, um, and overall we've had good reviews out of it. Now we're going to talk about the hedge trimmers. Um, the HS45, that's the, the old style. Um, the HS56 is going to be the new style uh, hedge trimmer uh, that they're, they're redesigning as well. Um, the 45 again, like the chainsaws, have a lot more rigid setup. The handle is bolted directly to the engine housing, so it has a little more vibration um, and a little bit more of a uh, harder machine to use. The 56 is going to be, again, like the chainsaw, has a lot more anti-vibration characteristics, um, buffers that basically separate the engine housing from the bar. Um, the fuel tank they stuck up front, it's a little bit easier to fill. Um, has a better air filtration system. It also has the assist spring on it to be able to pull uh, the starter a little bit easier. Okay, and we're going to wrap up today with the, uh, the string trimmers. Um, again, they've redesigned this product line as well. The FS38, that's the old style trimmer. Um, again, you have to choke this machine, pull it until it kicks over, turn the choke off, and then pull it again to actually get it started. Um, the FS40 is the new style. It has all the easy start features. It has the uh, spring assist for the pool to make it easier to pull. Um, the choke on it is an auto choke, so you set the choke, prime it, you pull it, it'll actually start up and run on choke. Um, as soon as it starts running, you hit the trigger and then it's, it's running at that point. Um, the switch, you can see the switch 
on the old one, you physically have to turn it on and off. One of the big problems we see with uh, people that have trouble starting them, they will forget to turn this switch on, they'll pull it 15 or 20 times, um, the unit will get flooded, and then they'll remember to turn the switch on um, after the fact. The FS40, we don't have that problem. You basically hold the switch down to shut it off. When you let go of it, it's ready to start again. Um, all the products that have the easy start feature are typically uh, designed for our residential markets. Um, customers that are going to use them on the weekends and don't start these things all the time. We've had very good reviews out of them. Um, we've not had many complaints at all um, as far as uh, people struggling to start the machine. So that's been the biggest uh, asset for us in the Easy Start um, stuff. So again, I'm Jason with Westchester Lawn and Garden. Hopefully you found the video helpful today. And if you uh, would like, you can give us a call or you can visit us on Facebook.